All right, everyone, everyone, hello, everybody, and please invite your friends and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is about what Islam speak about regarding Muhammad and supposedly what the Muslim they claim to be the Messiah. If you go in the internet, you will find tons and thousands of videos describing the beauty of a prophet Muhammad. You know, uh, once I saw a clip of Zakir Naik, somebody he made fun of him and he is he he used a music like I'm, I'm sexy and I know it. And actually today, the first time ever I see the song in the video clip, which is disgusting. But the Muslims, they are trying to convince us in the way they describe their prophet that he is sexy and you know it. If you watch those videos, you will die laughing, even describing his belly and his belly bomb. They are describing even in his underarm how white it is. They are describing, I mean, it's like somebody, uh, it's like a porn description. And there's a background in music. And there's emotion involved. A man, he came in the middle of the night. He looked at the sky, he saw the moon. And he saw the prophet. He looked at the moon, he looked at the prophet. He looked at the moon, and he looked at the prophet. And you should see that guy, how emotional he is. He looked at the moon, and he looked at the prophet. He looked at the moon, and he looked at the prophet. Before God's sake, are we going to continue? I said, tomorrow, keep saying that. Just tell us what happened. All of this just to say to you that Muhammad was very white. He was whiter than the moon. This is what I called obsession of supremacist of the white, good-looking Muhammad, according to Muslims. I never saw somebody describing Jesus for us. And, you know, all of you knows that we worship Jesus. We don't consider him a prophet. But nobody described for us the Billy Bomb of Jesus. <laughs> the Muslims are fighting over his laundry, underwear laundry, water. So today we are going to show you the stupidity of this cult, which is contradiction and contradiction and contradiction. What Muslims they say? They say Muhammad is the best of mankind. Let me do a little search in Google. And by the way, my second book already in Amazon for those who they are looking for the second book, which is a translation for Quran and science, already is out and it's uh, because it was listed in long, wrong uh, location for those who speak Spanish. Um, let us see here. Prophet Muhammad. Okay, I just type in uh, in Google. Prophet Muhammad is the best of mankind. You see the videos? The greatest person in the history of mankind. The best example for all of humanity. The best of mankind, Prophet Muhammad, best example for mankind. Ten reasons Prophet Muhammad was the best prophet of all time. Strength through uh, character and why Prophet Muhammad, B B U B H. this is like a chemical thing, uh, because Muhammad is full of chemic. Uh, I mean, look at this. You just type two words, and Muhammad is the best of mankind. And they say that we don't worship Muhammad. And why Muhammad is the best of mankind? Let me click at any of those uh, uh, sites. I want to click at the 10 reason. 10 reason Prophet Muhammad is the best of mankind. Oh, it's a video. Too bad. I cannot play a video. They will claim copyright. Oh, hold on. They have an article. Hold on. That will be good. 10 reason. I mean, why you stop with 10 reasons? Why not 12 reasons, man? I mean, what's wrong with you? 
shame on you only 10 reasons we are talking about Prophet Muhammad himself and only 10 reasons this is disappointing 10 reason Prophet Muhammad was the best prophet for all time hmm. best prophet for all time okay Muslims is as as a Muslim it is mandatory that we believe in all prophets and messengers of God without making distinction between them like you just said he is the best you idiot I mean look at this idiot he just said Muhammad the title is Muhammad is the best of the prophet and all mankind and yet he is saying we cannot make distinction between the prophets I don't know I think the kind of hashish he is taking is not good quality this is a very bad hashish how you say he is the best of mankind and you say we can distinguish between them hmm. or distinction between them sorry and then all of them have believed in Allah and his angels and his books his messenger we make no distinction between any of his messenger so the Quran chapter 2 verse number 285 says we made no distinctions but is that true contradiction read with me the same article nevertheless although we make no distinction in terms of believing that all prophets and messengers we are sent by God whether it be Adam and, and this is the most funny thing Adam was a messenger of God to who there's no, no he was the only one there mm. he's Allah he sent him as a messenger okay and then Moses and Jesus and of course Muhammad we do in fact favor certain prophets among others how Allah he just told you we don't distinguish the we don't uh, differentiate between them and you say yeah because the Quran have a contradiction read carefully those messenger some of them we caused to be exceeded other among them were those whom Allah spoke and he raised some of them in degree mm -hmm. And why you did not show us the rest of the verse? What do you think, guys? There is something fishy there. Hmm? But there is something fishy. I think there is something fishy. What do you think, guys? Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? Why the Muslims? You see, if I read and I I did not quote the rest of the verse the Muslim they will say ah why you are not quoting the rest of the verse are you hiding something okay Muslims why you are not quoting the rest of the verse I mean is the rest of the uh, of the word of Allah is not really important to the point we can just dump it and forget about it or you want only to point your finger at that statement hmm do we have any Muslim as always it is fishy because that verse is speaking about Jesus is being favored do you see why they cut it off is that correct Muslims is that because this verse is speaking about Jesus he been favored by Allah So all messengers are equal. When it comes to Jesus, it's a different story. And this is why those liars, they cut the verse and they did not show the rest of it. And remember, the article is, Muhammad is the best of mankind, and they are quoting for us a verse to prove that. The verse is not about Muhammad, it's about Jesus. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Let us go to chapter 253. 
Do you see it? It's about Jesus. Shame on you. Shame on you to steal what is written in the yellow pages of Muhammad about Jesus and direct it to make it about Muhammad. Is that my mic? What my mic? What what this gentleman is asking? Is my voice good, guys? Is my voice good? Let me sing. Hello, it's me. You're looking for. I'm talking to Muslims for sure. All right. So my voice is okay. Why they lie and they quote a verse which is about Jesus to make it about Muhammad? It is noisy. I hear nothing from my side. I think you are scratching your nose, maybe. Not from my side, my friend. Maybe you have a cat or something touching your computer. But do you see how they lie? The verse is speaking about Jesus being favored and he was raised degrees. And he was supported by the Holy Spirit. Little scratchy. Okay, let me see. Maybe sometime my market do things like you know, let me read Quran for it. Bismillah al-Rahman Okay, we just read the seven up a chapter. Because Muhammad, he went to seven heavens up. And actually, this is where the American, they stole the name of their drink and they use it, which have a copyright by the Prophet Muhammad himself. He is the one who went to seven up heavens. And we can prove it. Let me see. Maybe I need to change the cable. Hold on. Maybe is it better now? Is it better, guys? How is the sound now? Let me know, please. If there is any background music, I mean, the angels of Allah dancing or something. All right, perfect, perfect. So, look with me, the verse says it clearly. Saying that Allah, He preferred some, He preferred some from others. Who are the names who are mentioned here? The only name He mentioned here is Jesus, supposedly Isa. Do you see the name of Muhammad? No. My video have a delay. That's your internet. My friend, what I can do? Okay, I'm going to go home. All right. You guys, I mean, always I come on here, and there is the same, the same equipment, the same microphone, and the same stupid internet, and now everybody is complaining. Do you think you're in a restaurant or something? Should I bring you coffee? I like, come on. I mean, God could not make you happy. I will make you happy? No way. Muhammad himself. Be married six years old just to make you happy. And look, you are not. I mean, come on. All right. So the verses is so clear, speaking about Isa, which is supposedly Jesus. And not only that, it says that he is the only one supported by the Holy Spirit, Ar-Ruhul Qudus. The Muslim, they put between two bracket the word Jibreel, which is false and it's not exist in the Quran at all. Which mean in this verse? So, do you see how they steal 
what is written in their yellow pages book about Jesus and they try to fabricate it and make it about their beloved prophet who is very white brother as Allah also state in the Quran those messengers some of them we cause to be exceed others okay who are they why you call why you cut the rest because you are a liar hmm? then he go down and he says he was the final messenger sent by God well that's not true according to Quran that cannot be true According to Islam, that cannot be true. Isn't it you Muslims say that Jesus will come back? How Muhammad is the last prophet, and yet Jesus is coming back. That's mean he is if Jesus is the is a prophet, that's mean he is the last prophet. Allah will send Jesus again, supposedly, according to Islam. What's wrong with you, Muslims? How Muhammad is the final messenger, yet Jesus, who is supposedly in Islam, is a messenger, Allah will send him back. Look what we are talking about and look what wolf is talking about moon landing is fake mm. I think if we sent wolf to do a seafood shopping he might go to a different store like to the oil change section come on wolf what this have to do with our point man what moon landing? Focus in Muhammad landing now. How Muhammad is the final messenger sent by God to the entire humanity? That's, did, did they say their entire humanity? But isn't it this is a total contradiction for the yellow pages of Muhammad? Muhammad in the Quran he said Aka Allah that Allah never send a messenger except to speak the language and the tongue of the people chapter 14 verse number 4 we sent not a messenger except with the language of his people there's two conditions Allah will not send the messenger to any nation unless he is this prophet holding two conditions first he is from the nation second he speak the tongue of the language of the people his people which means he is from the people and the language of those people so how muhammad can be a messenger for all mankind when allah saying i never send any except he have to be two things he's one of them and he speak their language as i know your prophet according to you muslims don't even know how to write and read arabic which is very funny So how he can be sent to the Indian who have hundreds of languages or Chinese? Do you think Muhammad he sent to the Chinese and he said to them which mean Bismillahirrahmanirrahim I mean Islam is a silly chain of uh, silliness I don't know if that makes sense. Silly chain of silliness. I mean, excuse my English. Uh, excuse my French. How the Quran says, Allah never sent a messenger unless he speak the language and he is from the people. And he says even there why? And makes sense, by the way. The first time Allah makes sense. That's really crazy. I think at that time he was not high. You see, all the Muslims, they say, Allah is the almighty high. That's why he says there is flying carpet. The women have a sperm coming from her ribs 
and the man have a sperm coming from his bone and the sun set in the murky water because Allah is always high I mean drugs what you can do here you can tell Allah is not high in order to make it clear for them so what the purpose of sending a messenger from the people to speak the language of the people to make it clear for them so why you Muslim you are saying to us Muhammad was sent for all mankind unblock me Wait, who are you Mirza this guy I mean those kids and they say to me unblock me you are you are posting text and and, and that how you are blocked and you can text in the chat you idiot unbelievable any Muslim heaven you speak or do for sure I speak or it's very easy to speak or do here we go and brother the third and the prophet, he was the only prophet sent for all mankind. As an example, the other person had named the Christian and he was sent even not even for the Arab, and he speak for the funny English. So how he cannot be a prophet? He's not qualified. But the prophet of Allah who don't speak Arabic and he don't even know how to read and write, he is qualified to be a prophet for all mankind, and the proof scientifically to be true and accurate. And there is a scientist he's from the band. His name Yama Idullah Yama, and very well known, and he proved it. Okay, that is my Urdu. Nice to meet you. So, what is the qualification of Muhammad to be a messenger for all mankind? According to Allah, that is impossible. Do you see it, Muslims? Not according to me, according to your Allah. Your Allah. The city Allah is saying that this is impossible. So what we will do now? Hmm? Any Muslim? Now, if we look at Jesus, the God of the Christians, he speak all languages, not only that. Even he sent his disciples to the world and they spoke all languages. Is that correct, guys? So look at the difference between we have the Messiah who he ordered his disciples to go and preach the gospel everywhere. And actually in Islamic books, and I can show the reference, where they ask him, according to Muslims, according to Muhammad, where, how we can go and teach the whole world but we don't speak the language so Jesus says go sleep and you will see they went to sleep they woke up in the morning and they find themselves each one of them he speak different languages Muslims any comment the Messiah is the only one who speak languages and his disciples spoke languages because of his power but you're a prophet do not even know how to read his name if i put in the front of muhammad the name of trump in arabic and the name of muhammad and i say muhammad you choose which one you want hmm? He will not know. He might choose uh, what her name. Uh, we talked about her yesterday, Kardashian. If we put Kardashian name and Muhammad name next to each other, uh, the prophet he might choose Kardashian because she is more uh, big. So why you lie for us, and you say Muhammad is the best of mankind? The best of mankind, he don't even know how to write his own language. Like, I mean, what is the qualification for best? The best of mankind, he have, you know, look what Muhammad said. Excuse my language. If you are under the age, please leave that chat. 
anyone is under the cha uh, the age which means if you are six years and older you can stay according to Muslims Muhammad he married a child she is six years old maybe this is making the best of the best of us because he was at the age of 54 yet he have sexual desire for children is that what make him the best of mankind isn't this the same guy who the Muslim accuse him that he stole an underwear and by the way, it's until now it's missing. So if you if you have any information, please call the FBI. My friend, try not to change our topic. You see, people in the chat, I don't know what's wrong. We are adult. We have a topic. Let us continue with it. You want me to debunk Isaiah? We debunk Isaiah many time. I mean, why you need to debunk Isaiah? I mean, it's silly. Muslims because they have a bankruptcy they cannot find their prophet in their Quran so they try to find him in our book do you need even to do it actually when the Muslim they try to find their prophet in our book that's mean our book is a true book otherwise how you can look for your prophet in our book if it, the book is not right is that correct such an attempt proving that they are bankrupt and we are right I'm not going to find my Jesus in the Quran, which is a false book. How you want to find Jesus in the Quran and he is a false book for you? Here you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. So don't be a fool. Let them do it. The more they do it, the more we get them busted. Now, Muhammad was, let us go to the article. I like this article. I'm going to frame it in my bedroom. 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 I cannot because this article smells bad. The name of Muhammad is there. So Muhammad is the final of the mess messenger sent by Allah. Okay. And how he is the final? Look at this. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men. But he is apostle of God and the seed of the prophet chapter 33 verse number 40 hmm the Quran says he is the seal of the prophet I want to go there is that okay guys can you let me go there I, I will take a taxi chapter 33 verse number 40 I like chapter 40 verse number 40 because it remind me of a Filipino guy I took a bus and he said sir I have to pay you back 44 pesos and since then I cannot forget the number 40 so chapter 33 verse number 40 I wonder why it's not why is why it's not 44 why it's only 40 I mean it's, it's okay so it is 33 40 we go there All right, and this is verse number 40. Okay, what verse number 40 says? Verse number 40 says, Muhammad is the seal of the Prophet. It doesn't say that. It says, I mean, let me teach you Arabic, you idiot. The word khatim is the seal, right? They say seal, khatim, because you are an idiot. Khatim is the one who confirm what prophets before him said. Like when you go, you put your seal and you say, this is agreed, and this is agreed, and this is agreed. How we can prove that? Let us go to the yellow pages again. The word seal has nothing to do with Muhammad being the last prophet. They are idiot, do not know what they are talking about. Chapter 2, verse number 89. You see it? This is what the seal mean. He confirmed what is with them. Do you see it, Muhammadan? He confirmed what is with them.
אני מוזלם. Anyone? Can you talk to Fadi, please? Where is Fadi? I don't see Fadi. How are you, Fadi? Are you there? I don't see Fadi even is moving. Hey, Bibo. How is Indonesia doing? It is 2.59 in the morning. My friend, time doesn't matter when we speak about the Prophet Muhammad. Time fly. He is the most beloved person. You see, the second I start talking about the Prophet, a day became a second because he's so beautiful and so handsome. And he is sexy and you know it. If you don't believe me, <clears throat> go and watch this video. Who is the Prophet Muhammad? His description is SWO. And the guy, like he cry in the video. His belly bomb, his arm, his fingers, his eyes, his eyes. Like what happened to his eyes? okay true story <clears throat> thank God you don't know how I look like because if you Muslim knows how I look like you will make tons of videos about it at millions especially if I claim to be a prophet and you will say Christian Prince his eyes by the way I have a cross eyes in case you don't know just like this why it's very very hard to shoot me I mean you I will get you dizzy unbelievable So, uh, if Muhammad was the last prophet, is that will make him the best of mankind? If this is true, that's will be stupid. <clears throat> I thought the the first one is the most important, not the last one. Secondly, if the last one he sent a message, but yet he did not complete the message, so why? What make him last one? Because the one who will complete the mission is Isa, according to Islam. So how Muhammad can be the last? And how can be favored he was given the Quran final revelation of God oh are you sure mm hmm and look here look look the Muslim they keep saying to us the Quran that the Bible is corrupt look he sent he he has sent down upon you O Muhammad the book in truth confirming what was before it by the way it doesn't say what was before it it says what sent what is with them the torah and the gospel what is between their hands specifically false translation he granted the largest following i mean this is not really that's not true because if we ask the Sunni, is the Shia Muslims, they will say no. Is the Abadiyya Muslim, they will say no. Is the Ismailiyya Muslim, they will say no. Is the Sufi Muslims, they will say no. So you Muslims are the little minority in this earth. Because you have many religions. We the Christians are the majority of mankind. So even this one is false. And not only that, how he was granted the largest number, and yet Muhammad himself, he says, Islam is started as a strange and will end as a strange, which means a few people follow it. He is the leader of the children of Adam. Mm -hmm. How Muhammad is the leader of the children of Adam? He will go, I am a child of Adam and Muhammad is not my leader. Shafi'i, Shafi'i, this is a Muslim Sunni sect. Yeah. The Muslim Sunni sect is four major sect. And, but then there is people who became like Sufi. Sufi are considered not to be Muslim. This is why you see in Pakistan, they keep attacking them. They put bombs in their mosque. So if you go in Islamic religion, even the Sunni, the Sunni themselves, they are very much divided to the point even Al Qaeda consider the, the ISIS kuffar. And ISIS consider Al Qaeda kuffar, and ISIS consider every Saudi kafir, and every and uh, Al Qaeda consider like I mean everybody consider everybody kafir in Islam because Islam is a stupid cult based on violence. All right. By the way, if there is a Muslim and uh, he is uh, following the leader of the children of Adam, which is Muhammad, please let me know. I will let you call me. If there is any Muslim in the bushes. Let me open my Skype in case. 
<coughs> yes, today is a Friday, right? Yeah, and the Friday the Muslims are busy praying for Muhammad. They asked Muhammad how we can pray, uh, uh, even after your death. He says, after even after my death, because your prayer will be placed in front of me. He said, but you will be dead. He said, yes, Allah will send all the prayer to me. Which is, as of Muhammad saying, he is God. <clears throat> A Muslim Abdul he is saying to me, why you block me in Skype? I did not block you in Skype. Nobody blocked you. Any Muslim, he feel like he have something to say to us because what you are showing us in the screen is hilarious. It's a kind of a comedy. Muhammad will be the first to be resurrected. Hmm. Muhammad will be the first to be resurrected. Who is a Muslim? He confirmed that. Because I have no problem to get your prophet busted from his own mouth that he will not be the first. Any Muslim? Sorry, I should not say any Muslim. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Because Muhammad, he said, when he Allah, he wake him up. He saw Musa's. So Musa's was before him. I mean, what? What? I mean, Muhammad is the most funny, false prophet ever. How you are the first one to be resurrected, and you see Muhammad, uh, Musa's doing something? Already he is doing something before you. And you see Isa doing something. So you are the first one to be resurrected, and then they are doing those things before you. I mean, Muhammad is really funny. We should have changed his name from the Prophet Muhammad to Muhammad the Bunny. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Anyone? Yeah, how was my mic, guys? Is it good now? I hope it's good. Because you like it, you don't, I'm not going to fix it. It's okay. I mean, we are Arab, we are stubborn. But we just, we asked, like, for being curious. Like, do you like it, guys? And are you saying no? I said, okay, who care? Hmm? So what you Muslim says? Let me show you how Muhammad is a funny man and he is a false prophet. This guy he cannot keep his mouth shut, and the most the more he talk, the more he do poo poo. And poo poo, by the way, is a very clear good sign. That means still you are alive and you are healthy. At least you can do poo poo. You can get it out. Here we go. Sahih al Bukhari. The Prophet said, "Should we should we need uh, we need the background the music to fit with His Majesty? He is the best of mankind. I mean, are you serious? Show respect. Stand up, please, all of you. Let me show you the high intelligence of the Prophet Muhammad and his followers. The Prophet said, people will be struck unconscious on the day of resurrection, and I will be the first to regain consciousness." And behold, there I will see Moses holding one of the pillars of Allah's throne. How you will be the first one to be conscious? And then you see Moses already holding the throne of Allah. If you are the first. So you open your eyes and right away you see Moses holding one of the pillars of the throne of Allah. So Moses was there before you, you idiot. Hello? Hello. 
like imagine you say i will be the first one to wake up in the morning i, I open my eyes and i found the the guy abdul holding the pillar of the tent like he, that means he's up before you The problem is that those who read, they don't read with their, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I, I think I made it from different uh, material. CJ, he just came all the way from India and he's asking me, are you going to sing CP? Everybody have his own word. People like, uh, music people like movies people like and i'm talking about muhammad and they say to me christian prince are you going to sing christian prince christian prince can you make zakar naik prince I mean, everybody is coming here for a reason what is in your wallet that's what they say in the advertising right what's in your wallet so everybody has their own reason my friend, uh, focus with me. We are talking about amazing miracle here. Muhammad, the first one who will wake up in the judgment day, and then he will find that hey, Musa is already holding the pillars of uh, Allah's throne. By the way, why Allah have a pillars for his throne? What does that mean? And why Musa is doing that? He is doing like striptease. What, what they call it, guys? What they call it? But they, what they call it? Those girls who hold uh, like a uh, the thing go around it. What they call it? Nobody's helping. Pole, pole. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Ah, this is where the word North Pole and South Pole came from. I was wondering. I mean, it looked like a South Pole. Like this girl going around it, around it, around. I know. Again, I was getting dizzy. Like what she is doing, and I walk around it, and around it, and around it, and then she flipped down and flip up, flip down, flip up. I was really getting dizzy. I, and I need to go. Actually, this is really. The, uh, but. Moses was holding the pillar of the throne of Allah for what? Is that the pole of Allah? He was doing like some entertainment stuff. Oh, oh hold on. Uh, in this moment, all the believers are waking up from a, a resurrection and uh, now they open their eyes so they need some entertainment so moses the muslim moses was holding the pillar and he was like we 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 hey brother moses can you stop i'm getting dizzy we we you are not dizzy because of me you idiot you have a cross eyes we we we, we. why i mean here we see too much intelligence and what the point of this and what we learn from this, I mean, Muhammad, he says that I am the first one to wake up and we find that Moses already is up before him. And then Moses is holding the pillars of Allah. And what? Okay. Is the story over here? I mean, don't you think the story is so long? Guys, I will be the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. And Moses will be holding the door of my car. Okay. And? Hello? Hello? Guys, do you see, uh, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you like my hello? Uh, once I was challenging a, a, a Filipino sheikh, and he says to me, I debated, I debated a real American. You are not a real American. You have accent. Like, what? What? What does this have to do with debating me? Muslims they debate only real American, which means he debated a real white man. What I'm, I'm telling you, real white man, not like you. You're an Arab. I debated a real American, a real American. It's recorded. You can go and watch it. He said that to me. You believe it? And I was saying to myself, look at this. I have an American passport, but still nobody considers me an American. Not even the Filipinos. I mean, what I would do now? He debated real American. How even you can think to debate somebody? He debated real American. I mean, like it's like like I debated God, like real American. If 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 real American, I'm so glad it's not real Canadian. Me. By the way, in the in, in the Philippines, they don't say Canada; they say Canada. 
Canadian. I was saying what? Canadian, Canadian. <clears throat> so I'm glad he didn't say I debated real Canadian. Hmm. Oh boy. Now, so you see all this article is very easy to debunk. It's a stupid, it is useless, it's a lie. We did not even start yet, did we start? We go back to the article. Maybe we can find something useful. Allah, he granted, oh, we answered this one, okay. And then, he will be the first to cross the Sirat Bridge over Hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy brother a brother prophet muhammad can you please open what they call it when when somebody open like a line when they open like a new building or something what they call it they bring a scissor and they cut something what they call it guys help me with my funny english what i can do i mean this is what i i'm not really american as you see <clears throat> What they call it this thing like he cut the with the scissor <clears throat> let me drink something yeah cutting the tape cutting the tape <clears throat> so muhammad will be the first to cut the tape and he crossed the bridge if, 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 if. my friend jesus already in heaven what bridge Jesus is already in heaven. Why Muhammad need to cross the bridge of hellfire if he is a prophet of Allah? Hello. And look, where the Muslims they got this story from? Grand opening, grand opening. Thank, thank you, Sophia. Sophia, she got me the answer an hour after I asked the question. Very helpful. I'm going to hire you to be my assistant during debates. I need that. Oh. <clears throat> I was sitting with Abu Huraira and Abu Said. One of them narrated the hadith about intercession, and the other was listening. Listening, he said, Then the angels will come and intercede. And the messenger will intercede and he will mention the Sirat and said the messenger He said I will be the first one to cross it I told you it's not only in earth There is all always there is like you know if you go right now to watch a movie or to watch a show you will see that the first chairs is only for high ranks uh, or rich people like you know like eh, friend front you know I mean you know this is not only happy in earth even in the heaven even when you enter heaven Muhammad is going to be the first to enter the heaven hmm I was the first man who went to the moon. I found nobody there. I came back. It was boring. <laughs> and what is the proof that Muhammad will have that? It's Muhammad saying that. I mean, do you look even at the evidence the Muslims are providing us? Muhammad, he witnessed to himself that he will be the first. I'm really, really, really touched. That's it. We do not need witnesses. We do not need to prove. Muhammad said, that's it. Muhammad said, Muhammad said, okay, Muhammad, he said that. That's it. We have to take it. He will be the first to enter paradise. You idiot, how you say he will be the first to enter paradise and already we have Allah imported women from hell who are good in sex. They are there already. And what about the virgins who we can see the marrow of their bones? So what do you mean he will be the first to enter? So there's no women when he enter? And hold on. Isn't it your prophet Muhammad he sent to his wife Khadija? Send my greeting 
to my wives in heaven Khadija she said if you have my book who how many of you have my book six and Allah if you have my book six and Allah you will see Muhammad saying to his wife Khadija send my greeting to my wives in heaven she said the poor woman she was dying now look and look how idiot he is the wife she is dying I mean the woman she is dying she is your wife and now you say to her hey don't forget to say hello to my wives in heaven okay the guy is getting rid of her like he cannot wait until she dies she is rich and she is older than him a lot older uh, don't forget uh, uh, my wife to say hello to my wives in heaven she said to him have you married women before me he said no no but Allah he married me Mary the mother of Jesus and Asiya the sister of Pharaoh the wife of Pharaoh So how he is going to be the first one to enter heaven if they are already there and look how filthy he is he even going to marry women who die long before him very sexual maniac predator in the time of his wife is dying he is thinking about say hello to my wives in heaven so how Muhammad will be the first to enter heaven if his wives are already there and he mentioned <coughs> by name Mary and Asiya do you see how easy to debunk the stupidity of this article Allah he granted Muhammad maqam okay what maqam praise the station <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I have I have to use my art here. I mean, come on, I cannot resist this. Excuse me. Uh, this is need need to be uh, like uh, need some art to explain it, because many of you are not really good in understanding uh, the situation here. So look at what will happen, brother. This is the heaven of Allah heaven you know like that this is the road street etc and there here there is palaces 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 all everybody here everybody is here everybody is here muhammad is here there's a big nail coming up in the heaven and muhammad a brother he is in the top in a raised station me Hey Muhammad, how is the weather there, Prophet? The weather here is so cloudy. I wish I could go down. It's very cold here too and windy. So you are saying to me <laughs> that Muhammad he would have her. <laughs> okay. Highest floor. The Prophet, he will have a highest floor, guys. We like we have we have we have to admit. We have to admit. <laughs> Oh, you guys, you don't see the rest, huh? Okay, hold on. We missed the point. We missed the point. By the way, I'm very good in drawing. They asked me to many occasions to come and draw. And you know, like I draw, I draw many things. I draw a lot of things, actually. You can go and... Uh... So Muhammad is here. If you want to say hi to Muhammad, take your chance. He is here now. Hey, Muhammad, how are you? He's waving his hand. Look, his hand. Muhammad is here. Hmm. What does that mean? I mean, isn't it this is silly? And isn't it the Quran says we did not distinguish any prophet upon other prophets in the same article? Hello, all of them have believed in Allah and His angels and His books and His messenger. We make no distinction between any of his messenger. So how we don't make distinctions and you give Muhammad a higher uh, station? So what will happen to Musa now? He will go to second floor? Hello?
Hmm? Any Muslim want to give us a call? Anyone who sent me silly questions in Skype, I will block you. Just to let you know. I just blocked one. <clears throat> Anyone? Hold on, we have a Muslim here. He said something. His sheikh, he told me, told him something. Let us see what his sheikh he said to him. Hmm. Yes, Abdul. Wait, man, wait. Give me a second, man. What happened? Are you asleep? You wait, wait. I'll you, do it. Turn this off, man. You, okay, text, you text me. You text me and you're asleep. What happened? Oh. Uh, wait, maybe uh, it's not you who texts me. Maybe it's a genie. What is that? Because I see you text me. And look what you call me here. You said, Brotor. I, I thought you mean a brother, right? Brother, what brother? Are you there? My sheikh told me. First of all, I told him. Well, this that, was one hour ago, man. This was one hour ago. Let me see. What one hour ago? I went to fall asleep. Uh, this is just less than see, uh, twenty see. minutes yes. ago. Nineteen minutes ago. Okay. So my sheikh told me. First of all, I told him there is a Christian who a bit knowledgeable. Let us show the, the, the text you yes. send me. Okay. Okay. My Sheikh told me, I told him, I mean, this is confusing. You told me, I told him, he told me. This is Quran, my brother. You just, you just made Quran. Okay. Etc. And then I asked him uh, if he could uh, shortly debate this guy, which is supposed to be me, right? He told me he got time next week near the weekend. Like around next Friday, Saturday. Okay, so uh, do we have a date now? Huh? Do we have a date Can for the shake? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, man. I was uh, a bit tired. I fell asleep. Um, yeah, I said, oh, I. Uh, okay, hey, I, I, just go, man. Oh. What this guy is talking about? This guy is speaking from under the pillow. Unbelievable. Man, oh man, you bring your shake anytime. I don't care next week, today. Now he can call me. What next week? Why next week? Next week for a Muslim is like next century. Never happened. I have a guy he went to the bathroom 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago. And until now, he never came back. So, what next week? You believe him? He's just trying to escape. What next week? He promised me 10 minutes, please, 5 minutes. I was debating with him. It was a shake. Just 5 minutes, I will go to the bathroom. So said, where are you going? Where are you going? You are running. He said, no, I'm not running. It's just at the bathroom. Okay. And we were waiting. By the way, we have to wait because Muslims, they have a lot of this. I mean, it's big. So we waited and we waited and we waited and the shake never came back. Especially if you are a sheikh, it's going to be a huge. It take time. <clears throat> we reported him to the police missing, by the way. Because I saw, uh, I saw uh, a movie, a terror movie, horror movie. Like there is like a big beast. He come from the bathroom. He grab you from there, like you know. So maybe it's like you grab him or something. And we are worried about this guy. 
if anybody you know anything so what is unique about Muhammad look at this let us make it short Jesus is the only one in Islam he made the blind see Muhammad he kicked the blind out of his house there's a chapter it's called Abasa wa Tawalla Abasa wa Tawalla what does that mean when the blind man he come to him he gave him a face chapter 80 verse number one the best of mankind he gave a face to a blind man by the way what we give how you can give a face to a blind man I mean this is stupid isn't it he don't see you he did something right it's gonna be just giving a face because like I'm upset he did something he kicked him out because the blind man he cannot see your face hello this is the best of mankind when a blind man he come to ask him for something he kick him out and why because he was speaking to rich people of Quraysh this is the best of mankind that is the best of mankind what happened to the blind man when he come to Jesus Do you remember Muslim? Muhammad is the best of mankind. He could not help the blind man. In the top of that, he was rude to him and he kicked him out. While Jesus, he gave the blind man eyes. You see the difference? While Jesus was resurrecting people from death, Muhammad was taking life of others. While Jesus was making the one who cannot walk walk, Muhammad was cutting hands and foot and legs of people and crucifying them. While Jesus was healing all kinds of diseases, Muhammad was spreading disease of hatred and terrorism. So, how you can compare and how dare you? To say that Muhammad is the best of mankind when the guy is a pure criminal CP not an eye but eyesight I know my friend you are mistaken because to give a, a person who is a blind an eyesight that means you create eyes for him because over already his eyes is damaged you cannot give a sight to an eye which is damaged in order to fix that you create a new eye so this is your understanding which is not right a person who is a blind obviously he have damage in the eye itself or the nerves whatever in the mechanism of the eye you cannot fix it just by saying see unless you repair those things so God he repaired by what creating what is right for him to be able to see And this is why you see Jesus, he made mud and he put it in his eye. The same as God, he created Adam from mud. For it was a new creation. In the Quran, it says that Jesus created from the mud a bird. And Allah claimed that he favored Jesus by that. <laughs> yes, Andrew, did you wake up? Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum yeah, I, I washed my face. Uh, you was what? Um, brother, <coughs> yeah, I washed my face. I apologize for uh, before. Mm. Um, I was sleepy because I just woke up. Mm. Can you hear me, brother? I hear you. Very good. You want to sing for us? Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Christian Prince, inshallah, you will go to Jannah and accept Islam. Alhamdulillah. And it will have 70 versions, okay. and they are naked, and their legs is open. Continue the song, continue the song. Why stop? 
Why you stop? This is the, this is what Islam is about. I mean, are you ashamed of what your God told you? Isn't it true that Allah promised each one of you at least at least seventy two women? Each one of them, her legs is open twenty four hours, seven days a week. <laughs> what? No. Continue, continue the song, no, my friend. No, you have, no, you no. have to, you know, have you continue. What will happen next? Okay, I enter heaven now. Okay, what will happen? Women, their legs is open like. Zzz, zzz, zzz. And Christian press like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, it's not like that, brother, man. By the way, can, like you, can you ask your God, Allah, to exchange the wives he will give me for some Wi-Fi? I like to have a Wi-Fi. What I would do with the wives, <laughs> I want to get Wi-Fi. <laughs> what a stupid cult religion, man. <laughs> no, man, you can you can use the Wi-Fi to spread dawah, of course. Sure, spread dawa. The vaginas are because there. You a, need to spread the, the, the vaginas. What, what mean things, dawa? Uh, you will see nobody in, except in women. You, you will see. You, you will see nobody except women. There, each one of them, her ass is one mile. Is that true? What? One mile ass. What you don't know. My, one mile ass. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> My, see, the Muslims, no. Muslims, I'm the only one who make Muslims laugh at their, at their stupid cult. Here we go. This is this guy, woman. <clears throat> you are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. Hmm. Brother, this is brother. the hadith. Okay. This is Musnad Ahmad. Musnad Ab Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Do you see it in the screen? No, I see uh, a okay. Arabic. In Arabic, yeah, so what? I mean, this is my fault if you don't speak Arabic. It says here, In Adna Ahli Janna, Manzilatan, In Lahu Lasab Uda Rajar, Wahua Fisadisa, the lowest, the lowest, the lowest between all mankind in the heaven. He will, uh, there, there's, he have seven uh, uh, steps, and he will be at the six. There are seven steps, and in the top of him, there is a seven, and he will have 300 uh, uh, servants. And they will serve him a 300 uh, tray, which like, you know, he said, I don't know what is inside it. Look, Muhammad, you don't know everything. See, finally, we find something Muhammad do not know. So he do not know what is inside tray. And he says, and as I know, I think it's made from gold, the tray and dishes. And then uh, he says, and each tray have a food which never been tasted before. And he will... Uh, 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 he they will give him a 300 dishes and every dish have uh, a kind which is not in the other and then he says and each one have them different taste from the other and then he says oh lord if you allow me this is will be enough to feed all the people of jannah people in heaven and drink give them a drink and that will not even uh, like we still i have a lot more and then he will have وَإِنَّ لَهُ مِنْ حُورِ الْعَيْنِ لِإِثْنَيْنِ وَسَبْعِينَ زَوْجًا And he will have from the whore 20, 22, 72 uh, 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 wife and he, uh, 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 additional to that his wives in the earth and each one of them is her ass will take a size of one mile in the earth her size will be in the size of a mile let us go and go Google translation live on air oh what happened it took us out Hmm. Let us do it again. Go translation to no. English. Hmm. Do you see here? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. What, what is this? Man? Okay, let us translate see. to English. Let us see if Google will translate correctly a little bit here. All right. And then his uh, thought, his version, servant to wives. Uh, only wives of the world. All right. All right. We have nothing and only wives of the world. Why, why does it say one well, male? It doesn't show it. Know what know. It doesn't show it. Of course, it says, because it isn't. Actually, no, even, it's even, it's even it used the word mile. You believe it? Milo mil art in Arabic. But in Google translation is not appearing. Uh, my my sheikh, my sheikh is Arabic. And when, you know, uh, your sheikh is Arabic? Know, okay, give your sheikh this. I, cannot, I, I, will, I will give you a topic. Okay, I will give you this. Uh, you give it to your sheikh, okay? Give it to your sheikh. Mm -hmm. Is, can you send it in Yeah, here we go. I sent you the link. Give it to your sheikh. So now your prophet, he will give you a wife. Her ass is one mile. By the way, it's small. I mean, I'm, you know, why one mile? Why not? What? What about two mile? I mean, don't you think this is very no, small? One, one mile is enough, man. One mile is enough. Okay. 
So uh, what, what about your prophet? He promised us in heaven that we will have a, a, a private part as a male and that private part will never sleep. What do you think about that? Well, what? he has a private part as a male. Yeah, you, yeah. you have a private part, right? Yes, of course. Okay, thank God you did not say it in eBay. Okay, look at this. You're a prophet. <laughs> You're a prophet say, not me. Not me. It's not me who's saying that, okay? You're a prophet say, yes. there's no, he swear by Allah. Muhammad, when it's serious, this is serious because it's about penis. You know, Muhammad, when he swear, it must be something very sensitive. That's why he swear <coughs> now, it's about penis. So mm -hmm. he says, there's mm -hmm. there no one whom Allah will admit there's to no paradise, but Allah will mm -hmm. marry him. Uh, uh, to 72 wives two from the Hories and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell those are women prostitute brother you know prostitutes man they are very good in sex unbelievable and they go like they spend their whole day in the bar bar prostitution man experty a lot of experty so Allah will take those women who have a lot of experty from the hellfire and he will stand them in their bum and he will send them free shipping and handling to the heaven and they will be delivered to you but look Allah will not choose any kind of prostitute he will choose the one whom will have desirable front passages can you explain to me what does that mean yes what does that mean desirable front passages you know my English is not good so what is desirable yes. front passages what is that you know uh, chest chest they have nice chest like what big ones big uh, what the chest big ones you mean the, even a breast you mean boobs yes they, they will have nice nipples i mean look are brother, they going to uh, are, are, it's, are it's they, a different are, place oh, what, what different place okay this is what it says it says allah will give you desirable front passages i asked you what you said the chest breast boobs no, okay are right they now, going to have a black nipples or or, oh, hold on they will have a black nipples or pinky it depends man, if, it, if it's uh, small or big uh, bro, 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 small bro, bro, bro. or big nipples because if the ass is one mile nice. how i mean it's going to be funny if your ass is one mile and your nipples is like one uh, uh, you know i mean that would be funny man how big those uh, breasts do you think if the ass is one mile if if that's so big then it must be I don't know. It depends if it's, it's a big one. It's it's one point five. But if it's a smaller one, it's maybe it's uh, like a maybe maybe like ass, maybe ass, half ass, half ass, half, ass, half ass, mile eight or something. Maybe half mile each one of them because the ass is one yeah. mile. So the boobs maybe yeah. half mile of each one. That's really small. I'm I'm really mm. disappointed. You know because you see always I wanted to go and I want to across the ocean. If I can have women like those who have big ass. At first, I will never be drowned, especially with their balloons in their chest. Look at the balloon; it'll be bigger, huge, you know. No, but you will be bigger too. You will be bigger too. You can be bigger. I will well. be big I will, too. I will, never. I will be big too. That's Alhamdulillah. I thought they are big only, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> because I was worried. What if, I, if what if my wife she jump in my lap? What will happen to me? She will crush me, brother. And by the way, why Allah He made them so big like this? I mean, what the point? Size this matter for Allah? It's uh, maybe, maybe, maybe something metaphorical, of course. Ah, metaphorical. Here we go. Nipples and boobs, and but okay, is that metaphorical? And then he says, and his male member that never become flaccid. Is that metaphorical too? Uh, I.e., soft limb. Don't touch it. We are talking now. <gasps> Don't touch it. I mean the hadith. <laughs> from the people of hell and all of them will have the from prison. Mm. And we have a male member that never becomes flaccid. Mm. I so if, yeah, yeah, but um is that talk about uh, one who is in heaven, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, now you notice we are talking about in heaven. We are talking about heaven for since we call me, and now you notice that. Come on, wake up. So this is about you in heaven, and now Allah promising you that your penis, may Allah bless it and keep it uh, and healthy, uh, uh, will be never asleep. Are you happy, brother? Brother, look, um, this is why I uh, want my sheikh to talk to you. I only came to uh, mm. tell that brother, and and about the Jesus thing. Yeah, you said that uh, Jesus revived people from death. Mm. Is that what the Bible says? 
Mm. And so so and the, and then you compared it. Why don't you compare it to the Moses? Because Moses also did miracles. That doesn't make him God. What is the miracle of Moses it, in the Quran? Is he split the seas? He, he did not split the seas. God split the seas. Yes. So did God uh, revive the people? Mm. Right. But, okay. Let me ask you. In the Quran, uh, what is the miracle of Moses? Uh, when he uh, he has many miracles, many like like what? And less. Okay. Well, so um, okay, as long as you just said. Moses have many miracles, but Muhammad have none. So how Muhammad can be the favorite of men of all of Allah? I mean, he favor Muhammad, but yet he have no miracles. Well, well, um, Muhammad he had miracles. He had many like, like, miracles. Like what? Like what? And he also like what? No, give me one. No, no, don't go. Like, like what? Uh, look, look, brother, look, brother. So, um, no, today, yeah, today, no make, make, the, the make, make, make the horse sound. Uh, no, tell me what, like what, like what you said, Muhammad. He I mean, have many... I'll, give you now, I'll give you now, brother. Where is the miracle? Show me the miracle of Muhammad. Like what? Marrying a six oh, years old oh, child. Oh, what is the miracle of Muhammad? He made hummus. Even that, he do not know how to know to, to make. So, what is the miracle of Muhammad? No, you need to give right, me a miracle. Like what? Okay, hmm. okay. okay. Hmm. So, uh, today, yeah, uh, what are the five things that destroy society? Hmm. Five main things hmm. start with what Islam is the first one no, no, is to no, destroy no, no. society is Islam yes I terrorism like... how many people killed today in the name of Allah around the world well terrorism isn't in the top five I'll give you the ones no actually uh, terrorism is... is that most dangerous thing a human being is facing because terrorism is going to use soon dirty weapons and they try and they use chemical weapons and they use bacteria weapons and they do that and already in Syria no, but it's. I mean, in a society. Uh, okay. Okay. Like, what, what is what is the okay? What uh, you said? You want to give okay. me a miracle of your prophet? What is the miracle? Okay. Mm. So the top five things that the source society is um, intoxication, mm. i.e., drinking alcohol, smoking weed, smoking drugs. Mm. Uh, it is um, what's the other one? Mm. Uh, prostitution. Mm. It, you know, before marriage and adultery and stuff. Okay. The third one is like. Um, Mm. Wow, I forgot the man. So, is um, is, it, is drinking alcohol is bad? Yeah, but there are four other ones. Uh, mm. Interest, interest. Uh, why I'm asking are you. These, uh, is it drinking alcohol? Is it drinking? Because is it drinking alcohol? Rich, that's because of interest. Is it drinking alcohol is bad? Yes. So why the Quran says it's great? <laughs> What's that for Allah? Chapter 16, verse number 65. Allah says to Sakaran Hassanan, He says, Being the drunk is Hassan, is great. Let me see. And from the fruits of Tikkun, in graves. This is your Muslim translation, by the way. It doesn't say strong drink, it says it clearly alcohol will make you drunk. Sakaran, Sakaran, ask anyone what Sakar mean to be drunk hasanan which is good so it is drunk drunk you to be drunk is good and it is a miracle of allah it's a sign from allah that we are drunk we change the translation you know if you want what, what is your favorite translation which abdul is your favorite show me the ones which one which one do you hate the most? Look, look, the Muslims how they lie. Jews, the Quran says Jews. The Quran says Jews. May Allah juice you. What is Jews? It says Sakaran. So look, the word being drunk with alcohol became juice. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this. Everyone give us different translation. Liars, liars, liars. Let us go to Yusuf Ali. Jesus, Jesus peace be upon him. Said there's no God but Allah. Okay. He said, he said, okay. Uh, it, not my will, but the will of the Father. What? What? Jesus peace be upon him. Said not my will, but the will of the Father. Man. Yeah. My, 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 what, what, why, my, what, what? <laughs> why you are changing the topic? Jesus, he said, every, every thing I have from my Father and me and the Father is one. So shut up. So the yeah, man you the man you see in the front of you the man you see in the front of you he is doing nothing of his own why because God in the man he is the one doing that so God 
we don't worship a man we worship God in the man so we don't worship the flesh we worship God who came to us in the form of a man, the man he is a flesh of a man but he is God, God in the same time so listen when he says whoever saw me he saw the father it's clear saying that whoever saw me he saw God and now don't change the topic why your prophet in the Quran saying that drinking alcohol is a great and it's a sign and a miracle of Allah why do you say alcohol? it says fruits date it doesn't say and, that and no it doesn't say that it says Women al anabi from from the fruits and from the palm you make from that fruit you make okay read this read translation here read this one translation this is shakar translation <laughs> read it read it this and of the fruits of the palms and the grapes mm -hmm. you obtain from them intoxication mm -hmm. and goodly provision mm -hmm. So intoxication to, to be drunk intoxication intoxication it may it is goodly how you being drunk is goodly and it's a sign from Allah Muhammad God he claimed that drinking wine and getting drunk is a sign of Allah so how you say to us that drinking wine and drinking alcohol is a sign of destruction of of uh, of uh, of society and Allah he is praising that there and he claimed that he is the one who made it it's a sign do you see it's a sign of Allah mm. Mm. so Allah is the one who made oh. wine for us Muhammad is copying the Greek mythology that God is the one who made the wine but the, the, the reason why it says goodly um, provision you know why mm. why because alcohol is also used in the medical field but and he's talking, no, he's talking about field. specific things. He's, he's, he's talking, he's talking about, he's talking about a specific no, thing. Hold on. In the medical field. Uh, listen, so later. He is speaking about being drunk. That is the goodly thing, goodly provision. So you can take from it what make you like drunk and what make you happy and good provision of it. And even you make money from it. It's a sign from Allah. So why Allah praising alcohol here? Let me tell you what happened. Muhammad, when he got sick after he ate the poison, he can't drink wine no more. He was a drunk man. Mm. So he... Oh, what? He was poisoned? No, no, no. What do you mean? That, that's not true. That's, oh. that's, he was Actually, never this poisoned. is something we did not mention. The Muslim, they say Muhammad is the favorite of mankind, but yet Muhammad is dead by poison, and Jesus was saved by Allah. <laughs> what Allah? Allah. Brother. What uh, brother? Make the sound again. Make so, the sound again. The horse sound again. What? What you say? <laughs> you always do that. I mean, I don't know. You are, I, I think uh, because your God, he said. Your God, he said, and I showed you that yesterday. That Allah created Himself from. Do you remember? From what? From the sweat of the horses. Is that true? I showed you the hadith. Your prophet saying Abu Huraira said the one you were Abu Huraira. You know, Abu Huraira said that the prophet said that Allah He made the horses run. Enter the sweat so hard and then he created himself from the sweat of the horses. So your God Allah is a horse now Here we see in the front of us. I said to you that Allah prophet he died by poison. You said no, no, no oh. It's in the front of you read it So, okay, I saw for you by cause by the food I ate at a cable mm. and this time I feel as my orders because uh, from that poison. All right, can I explain? Mm. Explain go ahead. So Take When a bite. Prophet Muhammad said he is done with teaching the revelation to go and everything is done mm -hmm. then Allah took his life if, 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 if all of this in here all of this and you saw that all of this here <laughs> no it's true man no it's not true because I can show you a hadith where Muhammad he says give me a paper I will write for something for you which will never make you misguided after me is that true wait give me a paper for you what's again Give me a pen and a paper, and I will yes. write for you something which you will you will yeah. not you will not be misguided after it. Um, who did he say that to? You? What? I don't know what you mean with this. All right, brother. Thank you. 
I will, I will don't please, thank, uh, don't thank. What thank you? What thank you? Where are you going? I have to just go, wait. I have to go to. No, no, you I just say it. You I just, you just. And then I will eat, man. What do you please, eat? Please, okay, please, I'm gonna ask you just, fan, you. just a, a minute, a minute. Why Allah did not save Muhammad? He died by poison, very painful death, and he saved Jesus. I'll explain. Okay, let, let me explain. And okay, the, okay. Hmm. so it says uh, he was poisoned, right? They say he was poisoned by the Jewish uh, woman. Hmm. But that's not true because if he was poisoned, he would die a few days later. Hmm. So, you Muhammad was, so Muhammad was wrong. Still, so Muhammad was wrong. Huh? So Muhammad yeah, was wrong. Because he didn't know he was ignorant about the poison. Muhammad was ignorant. But guys, take, take, okay. So why you Muslim, you say whatever the prophet he says, you take him and Allah, he says, whoever obey the prophet, you know, obey Allah. Because you just said Muhammad is wrong. So he can be wrong in many things. How we can obey a person blindly and we take his religion from him and then he can be wrong you just said everybody heard you that he was wrong he was ignorant about the topic of poison what do you mean ah ignorant about the topic of poison no he's saying clearly in his element of he die when he died he used to say oh aisha i feel the pain caused by the food of i ate al khaybar so this is a pain he have since then never stop and now at this time i feel when he was gone okay my friend so what is confirmed let us make it clear what is confirmed that muhammad he died by the poison muhammad saying that are you saying he's a liar okay okay yeah it may it may be true that he got poisoned but did he die because of the poison no allah made him live so he could finish revelation and then he, when he was but done, muhammad he did not finish the revelation yes, who said that we can prove it easy why did he say it, it is now done where what? Hadiths. Well, the, the revelation should be finished by revelation or by done in the hadith. <laughs> okay, let me ask you what, what is the last thing? What is the last thing your prophet he did before he died? That's false. What if I show you that the last thing he did it was to piss? Yeah, but what well, hmm? What, what? But I have to do something, man. Thank you for this, brother. Ah, I, uh, okay, take next care. Time. All right, take care, take care, take care, take care. I have to do something. Ooh. The last thing Muhammad he did, he piss. He did not even take shahada. What complete? This is the last thing he did. Unbelievable. Jesus, he said it's complete. Muhammad, he was taking a piss. Any Muslim in the bushes? <clears throat> hmm? Let us show the reference so people will not say. Actually, one of you asked me in the, in the, ch in the chat before. Not always, guys, I see the chats. Forgive me. Uh, I cannot, I don't have many eyes. So, all right. And by the way, I have many eyes. I have two eyes. Yeah. But we have to be accurate in the information we give to the public. Otherwise, people will complain. Uh, look at this. Aisha radiallahu anha relates that at the time of the death of Rasulullah alayhi, I mean what kind of translation is I mean look half of the translation is not translation it's Arabic I mean this is a translation the translator must be a genius from Casablanca Blanca blank translation like their bullets she gave him support with her chest it must be big i mean how you can give support to a man like this unless it is big chest okay or she said with her lap lap okay he asked for a container to urinate okay he urinated there and therefore he passed away do you see it? Do you see it?
the last thing Muhammad he did he did not even take shahada he pissed he didn't know he's going to die who want reference who want reference anyone want reference you have to pay for it because this is a very expensive this is about pissing of the prophet you know it's not like a normal piss this is not like a my piss or your piss here we go the admin she is posting before before i post i was going to make some money from this and look she gave it to them for free unbelievable <sighs> the last thing he did he piss uh, <clears throat> I just remember I need to do something I need to go to the bathroom I, I just been inspired by the prophet story which is this so Muhammad is the best of mankind he died by poison the last thing he did he piss Jesus he is not the best of mankind for the Muslims, but he is now in heaven. He did not die and he did not piss. Muhammad killed people, Jesus he resurrect people. Muhammad he take the eyes of people, Jesus he give eyes to people. He put Muhammad he put nails after he put it in fire in the eyes of people. Jesus he create eyes for them. Muhammad he cut arms, cut fingers, cut hands, and Jesus give them limbs and he create create for them what is missing and he give them life. The one who cannot walk, he walk. The one who cannot see, he see. The one who is sick, he is healed. The one who is dead, is resurrected. And then the Muslim, they say, Muhammad is the best of mankind. How hypocrite you are, Muslims. And we are talking about your religion, by the way, Muslims. According to your religion, Jesus, he did all those things. And not only that, Jesus is supported by the Holy Spirit and not only that Jesus is the only one called in Islam Ruhullah wa kalimatahu the word of Allah and his spirit his spirit not a spirit Let us show you some. Muhammad is not the spirit of Allah. He is not the word of Allah. Jesus was, according to Quran, announced to be a prophet of Allah in the cradle. Muhammad, he waited for 40 years. And after 40 years, a man, he came to him. He squeezed him three times. Still, Muhammad have no idea what's happening. He covered himself by a blanket and he was shaking and breaking and freaking out and snoring like a camel. His wife, she took him to her cousins and then he told him that the one he squeezed him, his name is Jibreel. Have you ever heard of a funny story like this? While the Messiah in the cradle, he speak the wisdom of God, the word of God, and no, and no Jibreel is teaching him and no angel is squeezing him. In the cradle, he is just born. That is Jesus in your Quran. Here, look with me. Muhammad saying that whoever says there is no God but Allah and he is the only, is one and no one to associate with him and that Muhammad is his servant and his messenger and that the Christ is a servant, uh, his servant, which means servant of Allah and the son of his slave girl, which means Mary. And he Christ, his word, which Allah, he sent down to Mary. And he is a spirit. Do you see it? Jesus in the Quran, in the Hadith, is the Spirit of God and is the Word of God. Muhammad is not. Moses is not. Abraham is not. Nobody. This is in your Yellow Pages books. So when the Quran says that Allah, he took Jesus to heaven, and Muhammad died by poison. Muhammad confirmed that he is no one. And by the way, here we have a mistake in the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 55. It says, 
and remember Allah said to Isa okay Jesus I will take you I'll raise you to myself by the way it doesn't say I will take you it doesn't say uh, 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 what they are saying here it says mutawafika which means I will cause your death false translation but as long as the Muslim they believe that Jesus did not die we have to go with it so he did not die Allah raised him to himself where is Jesus now guys according to the Quran with myself with who with Allah they are sitting in one table so how the one is the best of mankind is in the grave is routing with the cockroaches and he is the best of mankind and yet Jesus right now is with God for the last 2,000 years and God knows until when and not only that he said I will make you victorious and I will make those who follow thee victorious until the judgment day and look here the Muslims they put with two brackets monotheist who worship none but Allah <laughs> the Quran doesn't say that it says those who follow thee and here is the question why we should follow thee until judgment day and how we can follow thee until judgment day if the book of thee is not exist anymore we change the translator the whole translation change the bracket is gone the fabrication is gone read with me carefully still is a lie oh jesus lu am gathering thee. what do you mean gathering thee he was a part and causing thee to ask thee to, into me and i am a cleansing ye, thee of those who disbelieve hmm? of those who will disbelieve and I am sitting those who follow thee above those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. So those who follow Jesus, they are the highest in the sight of Allah. Until the day of resurrection. Which means today there is a Christians who follow Jesus correctly. But the Muslim they say there's none. The Muslim says even the, the Bible is corrupt while the Quran promising Jesus that he is left above all and he is cleansed from everybody and he is now in heaven and those who follow thee they will be victorious in the day until the day of resurrection and this is true we will be victorious and the day of resurrection and who is the one will come back in the day of resurrection it is jesus not muhammad so how muhammad can be the best of mankind you crazy people hmm? even your quran is against you You're a prophet. If, if he come to Europe, they will arrest him right away if he have his wife with him. 54 years old, 6 years old, a child, wife. He will be immediately arrested and he will be in every TV station news. They will say a Middle Eastern guy, his name is Muhammad Rasulullah. He came to the airport of Heathrow and he have a child abused with him. The immigration officer will ask him unless the immigration officer is a uh, Muhammadan uh, excuse me who is this child with you uh, this is the mother of the believer her name is Aisha and she is mature and she is a child look at her nipples and for sure Aisha she have a big nipples huge so we have to admit the prophet is not a child molester Six years old, 54, and they try to convince us. And not only that, they start making articles saying Muhammad did not marry a child. She was over 18. When Muhammad died, Aisha, she was not even complete in 18. And we can prove it. Read it with me. 
the prophet married her at the age of six years old and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old and she remained with him for nine years okay she was six until nine or she was with him until uh, like for nine years old what is the total guys how how what it was the age of her at six she is his wife she was with him for nine years so let us count six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve what is the age of Aisha when she when she died die? because we have to start we have to start from the age of six which means at the six she is his wife and she was with him for nine years total he had intercourse with her when she was nine but she is his wife at at, at six already and she was with him so Muhammad he was with her for nine years and this is the total of 18 years old or less if the calculation here if we go like uh, if we go by the calculation here still is going to be less but if we you know there's different hadith says she was almost 18 but based on this you know based on this Aisha she's still a child when he died Do we have any Abdul? Ain, 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 ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Go and watch my Arabic teaching class and learn. There's videos on YouTube teach you. By the way, the Muslim they make a lot of videos to teach Arabic and the purpose to convert you to Islam. You know, they, they make it look like it's about teaching you Arabic, but the purpose is dawah. To make you believe in the cult of Muhammad. Spider miracle is a fabrication. There is no source of it. This is a fabrication of the Muhammadan. The one who says to you the spider miracle, tell him, show me, show me, silence me. It's a, it's a, it's a false fiction. Even the Muslim themselves they don't agree with it. <clears throat> any Muhammadan Arabic have nothing to do with Islam Islam hijacked the Arabic language the Arabic Christians are the best who speak Arabic ever in the history of the Arabian Peninsula there's five poet men who nobody can beat them it's called the five hanged the five hanged poetry all of them is written by Arab Christians and nobody can make poet like them the Quran is a stupid book full of mistakes and it's not even a point because Muhammad could not make a point. And even the Quran says that. Muhammad, he tried, he attempt to make a point, a point, but he could not. In the Quran, in the Hadith, you will find that Muhammad is speaking about something like maybe I should make a, a special video about it there is something is called Saja 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 is like the same as you make rab so the Arab they used to do Saja and this is what we see here in the hadith it's called the Saja of the monks you see here the Muslim they did not translate correctly what it says it says this is the Saja translated of the monks they took the monks out so there was monks in the Arabian Peninsula who used to make Saja exactly like the Quran but it's a good quality not like Muhammad Quran and since Muhammad he copied the Saja he forbid anyone to do Saja after that because he don't want anyone to compete. 
No, Quran is not a poetic. Islam is a, Quran is a stupid book. What poetic miracle? <laughs> you see, I can say anything I want in a book. I don't understand it. I cannot read it. <clears throat> this is why the Arab isn't it the Muslim. Isn't it the Muslim? They keep saying that the Arab they refuse to accept Muhammad, and even they kicked him out from Quraysh. Don't they say that? Okay. Why the Arab they did not see that this is a miracle? Why the Arab keep making fun of the Quran? You know what I mean? I'm saying I just said to you something amazing. So why they are making fun of it if it's amazing? Why do you keep saying to him this is a fairy tale stories? If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Even they said to him, we can make even, what is this? We can make better. Hmm? Don't the Muslim, they say, Allah said to the Kuffar, make a, make a verse like it. Look what, the, what, look what the Kuffar said. And when our verses of the Quran are recited to them, they say, we have heard this. Eh, there's nothing we heard before, but better. And if we wish, we can say like this, and even better. This is nothing but the fairy tales of the ancient. Do you see it? So they were not amazed with it. They were amused, for it's funny and stupid. To the point they believe it's a fairy tale stories. And it's true. Alexander the Great, he became a prophet of Allah. He found the people of Gog and Magog. He built a dam, and the dam built, built from copper. He put it between two, two bridges or two mountains. And now the Gog and Magog, they are digging in the wall, and they cannot get in. Suleiman, he have a flying carpet, have, can carry 600,000 chairs. He controlled the, the, the genie. He have a ring. His ring, he go to the bathroom. He forget his ring outside, and the, and the genie, he took it, and he took it, the shaitan. And then the shaitan start having sex with all his wives. So they are right. It's a fabulous of the ancient. Right? Can an ex-Muslim call me? Uh, no, my friend, I'm going to go soon. We had enough for today, and we don't want to make the video long for those who they are interested to download. Uh, always we encourage people to download, but as you see, Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. And we keep saying, where is the sheikh to, to call me and debate me? And we have our Skype open, and they don't dare. Do you think really the sheikhs don't not know how to find Christian prince? Why they don't? Here we go, we are here. Where is your sheikh? There's one thing always Muslim they want to do. They want to debate someone who do not know much about Islam, and he have to be someone who don't speak Arabic. They want to debate a priest, so he will answer them only from the uh, from the Bible, not from the Quran or from the Hadith, and get them busted. And this is the mistakes of all the Christians when they debate with Muslims. They start quoting for them from the Bible. Don't waste your time; they are not even listening. They are not even listening. Get them busted from their book. This is why you see a Muslim, he want to debate with somebody, he make conditions. I want to debate you only about the Trinity. And the second you start asking him a question about his religion, he escape, he run. And by the way, when a Muslim, he debate about Trinity, let me show you how silly it is. The Muslim, they say, I don't believe in Trinity, and we believe in one God. First of all, how you can say your God is one God when your God is many gods and the proof in the front of us and the Quran. When Allah, he says, if we want to have a son, we are going to have sex with one of us. Who is us? Any Muslim can tell us? Allah want to take a wife. And this wife is from us. Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation, not mine. 
chapter 21 verse number 17 Allah speaking about having sex with someone else and now you want to say to me Allah is one Allah he say us he mean his majesty so Allah is going to have sex with himself if you say to me that Allah is one in this verse that mean Allah is a transgender do you see it because it clearly he is speaking about having sex with the woman so she can give him a child Any Muslim? Allah will have sex with us? Who is us? And how Allah is God yet he have a wife? What does that mean? Surely we have taken it from us. Surely. Well, in order to take it from us, we have to have us. Right? Any Muhammadan? Allah want to take a wife from us? Hey guys, we have a wedding, uh, uh, us, us wedding. Allah and us, they are going to get married next week. Allah and, and Allah and Mrs. Us, uh, by the way, Miss Us, now she is doing her hair and she is doing waxing. Because the Friday is today, and now they are going to have uh, boom boom. Us? We ask them, where is the word us coming from? They say, Allah speak about himself as a majestic name. Mm -hmm. But Allah here talking about taking a partner, and the partner is a female. Any Muslim? And by the way, uh, I'm so glad that the Muslims, they are enjoying my books. Uh, a Muslim Sheikh, uh, somebody told me, I did not get the video, I told him to get me the video. A Muslim Sheikh, he spoke about my book. And he said everything in this book is true, but the the the, the point of it is wrong, which means uh, this guy everything there is true, but the point of it is to prove Islam to be false is wrong, <laughs> and that make Muslims go and read my books like crazy, <laughs> which is a true. He did not lie. He's saying the point of it is wrong according to him as a Muslim. He's not lying. Everything in the book is a true, which is not a lie. Because everything we have in our books is with reference, page number, hadith number, etc. So how it can be a lie? It is true. How you can deny? And by the way, our Spanish second translation book, The Quran and Science in Depth in Spanish, already is published in Amazon. So if you like to get your copy, if you speak Spanish, feel free to get your own copy. We have Deception of Allah in Spanish. We have uh, Quran and Science in Spanish already. And we have them in German. And uh, soon there is more languages to come. You know, I hope soon we will have more and more. And we have in French, The Secret du Prophet Arab. For those who like to learn if they speak the language. You know, even uh, what his name, Shabir Ali, he bought my book, but he did not dare even to speak against it one moment. For he knew he can't do, he can't say nothing. What he can say? What he can say?
Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Anyone? My translation for the Quran is going, but it's slow because, as you see, I'm doing many hours talking to people, internet, live uh, streaming. After I finish here, I find many messages from people who want to leave Islam, a family they want to leave Islam, like, you know, uh, sometime a group of, like, uh, the whole family. So I spend a lot of time talking in private more than just doing live on air. Each time I go in my Skype, I find tons of messages. My son, etc. My daughter is etc. My wife, etc. I married a woman. She is a Muslim, uh, and um, I'm trying to convince her. Can you talk to her? So endless. And I don't mind, by the way. It doesn't make me upset. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm saying that it's taking too much time. Uh, the only way to finish fast is to take maybe a vacation, and don't open my Skype. Don't go live and just to spend time to finish it. Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, Sang, wanna call me? Is he a Muslim? Is he a Muslim? Any book of my book in Arabic? No, I don't write in Arabic because people who speak Arabic, there's many Christian TV stations, they are doing a great job exposing Islam left and right. So my book will not, uh, and you know, like uh, uh, your books cannot go to Islamic countries. This is number one. And they block them. Even aside, they block them. The only way, the best way, is satellite stations where they can go inside the house and nobody can stop them. All right. Yeah, I'm working actually in three books in the same time right now. Uh, so, do we have any Muslim want to say something before we go? Abuma, if you want me to block you, repeat that word again. Any Muhammadan? Who is a proud Muhammadan? He would like to give us a call. So you can prove us wrong. At least, you know, like one Muslim, he can say something positive about the Prophet. Just one. Who is a Muslim? He have something positive about Muhammad. Anyone? Which direct the Quran is written in? Supposedly the Quran is written in the in the direct of Quraysh, but the fact the Quran is not really written in Arabic. You see, if you go in the structure of the Quran, you will find like this is this is how the Arabic we know as today. But I don't believe the Quran was written in such a language. Because if you go in the uh, in the time of Muhammad, what we see in the front of us was not exist. All of those things is not exist. The dots, the movement, they call them tashkil. You see all those signs. Let us let us zoom in a little bit in the screen. Let us put the screen on. All those things you see in the screen, they never exist in the Arabic language. Those things were added later. You see this letter here, like this is a, like a dhamma. It's called dhamma. This is fatha. This is nukta. This is fatha. This is kasra. So and the and the way the letters are connected, it's not like that. For this is originally was Aramaic, have nothing to do really with Arabic. And we can prove that very easy, actually. You see, like what is the name of the book? Quran. Quran is not an Arabic word. You speak to any one who is Aramaic, he will say to you what Quran, Quran, Quran coming from the word Qarra. Which means he said something with his lips, but what he said is what he saw. So from reading. In Arabic, there's nothing called Quran. It's wrong actually to be Quran. 
for this is not this is a Syriac word from the Syrian language and then you go and you see like everything a Rahman Rahimo speak to anyone who speak Aramaic you will say to you that this is not an Arabic word actually all the language you see today in the front of you which is the language have to do with religion Christianity Islam is born of the Aramaic but the Quran is specifically is is a theft from the Aramaic language I don't believe even the, the Quran was in Arabic for a second this is why the Muslims they have a problem to understand the Quran because it was not written really in the language which they claim it is in Arabic I believe that when the caliphate uh, uh, he forced to translate all languages to what is called Arabic today this is when the new Quran start to reborn in a new shape in a new font in a new decoration in a new way until now the Muslim do not have any old manuscript the Muslim a few years ago they find one page which is was a gift from a priest and the page date is goes to the time of even Muhammad before he became a prophet which means this is the leather date not the ink not the writing the ink and the writing have nothing to do with the document itself or let us say the page itself it was because you know in the old days they used to uh, like the same piece of leather they write something and then do, this thing is not important no more so what they do they whip it off with water they wash it and then they write another thing so the leather date is old but it's not the writing why because it have a very similar writing to this which was not exist in the time of Muhammad all those things you see in the front of your screen are not exist in the time of Muhammad all right do you understand goal of Arabic there's nothing is called our goal of Arabic And the people of the Gulf are not Arab. You know, there is a, there is there is a many misunderstanding for everything. Many of you think that when we say I am an Arab, that's mean I am from the race of the Arab. There is no such a race. Never exist and will never exist. All those who they are from the Gulf or they call them the Gulf are Indian they are literally Indian they are there's nothing is called Arab if you go here with me this is the map what is the distance between the Arabian Peninsula and India by the way those borders you see right now they were not exist remember that right those borders never exist this is something eh, the mate of the bridge and the French and the winner of the new war uh, war two so they are the one who created those borders and those countries but if you go here like now we were talking yesterday about Hormuz this is a few miles wide few miles you are jumping from India or what it's called Iran today you are jumping from India to the Arabian Peninsula and that's it if you think India is far away from Saudi Arabia you are mistaken if you go and see the look of those people who live there, they look like Pakistani people. And let me show you. This is the Prince of Qatar, the father. Don't he is isn't he a Pakistani person from Pakistan? Yes, he is. All of them actually they have the features of people from Pakistan. They have nothing. This is his son. They are Pakistani. They have thick hair. 
let us see if we can find you one here we go this one without without uh, the, the Arabian clothes if you look at him don't you think right away that this guy is coming from India or from Pakistan they are Pakistani look at this there's nothing it's called Arab it's a joke Islam itself is an Indian religion. This is where the Kaaba is coming from, the black stone, the vagina, the, the, the sexual stone, going around the Kaaba naked. It is, and this is why the Muslims, they shave their head when they do Hajj. They go around the Kaaba. They, uh, they wear a sheet and they show one shoulder exact like the Hindus. Exact like the Hindus. <clears throat> And not only that, even the Muslim, they claim that Adam, the first time he came, anyone remember he came to, to where? When Allah, he sent Adam down, he sent him where? Do you remember? Even the Muslim, they say that the first land Allah, he sent Adam to, it was in India, which is Sri Lanka, supposedly now. Where it is written that the Prophet Adam came from India. <laughs> and and now the Muslims they are fighting with the with the uh, with the Buddha in Sri Lanka over a mount and they claim that this is where uh, where Adam he land down. You know, is Indian for them. Even the Muslims according to them Adam was an Indian man. <clears throat> I'm not talking about who is nice or not. I'm, I'm saying that there is nothing is called Arab as an ethnic. Arab today, the word Arab, when you say Arab, is those who speak Arabic, but they are not really Arab. No, nobody, nobody is an Arab. Where is the Arab? Who are they, the Arab? You know, the word Arab is a word in Aramaic mean desert. It is not for people. So whoever live in the desert, he is Arabian, which means it's a desert person. In other words, savage. So the Arab, the, 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 the Aramaic, they used to call us savage. Why? Because we used to take a shower once a year. But the who live in a tent move from place to place. So it is not an ethnic. It is whoever live in the desert. Aramaic, it's not even a name of an ethnic as much as a name of people where they live. Aram is a high hill, high mount. So the Aramaic, they live in high mountains or high hills, high, high, high hills. And those who they are Arab is the one who live in the desert. So the name was given by the territory name or description in Aramaic. It's not a, for an ethnic. Whoever live in the desert, they call them Arab. Are you getting the point? Do we understand? The same as like Palestine. Palestine is not a name for a nation. It is whoever live in that territory. It's called Palestine. They call them Palestinian. But they are there's nothing called Palestinian as an ethnic. Uh <clears throat> So you know there's a lot of misunderstanding about history about what 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 happened and Islam have you know have roots goes back to other everything in Islam is a is a is not Islamic some from the Christians some from the Jews some from the the the, uh, the Sabian some from the Hindus some from other religions around them you know like legions and stories like you know the seven sleepers Seven sleepers on the Quran, but this is a fiction story. Fiction story written by a Syrian bishop. His name is Jacob or Yaqub. He wrote the story for fiction for youth to make them have hope. Okay, today we have discrimination. Tomorrow the future will be better. We will be victorious with Jesus. Muhammad, he took the story. He put it in the Quran and he claimed that Allah, he made a miracle for the seven sleepers. 
and because the book the story is written in Aramaic Muhammad obviously his Aramaic is horrible so he come with the story in a very wrong way as an example you will see the Quran says that Muhammad supposedly trying uh, to be uh, smart like he knows he knows what you do not know in chapter 18 verse number 22 and look here how silly how stupid this Quran is some they will say they were three and their dog is fourth uh -huh. and some they say they are five and their dog is six uh -huh. guessing at random this is a translation and some they say they are seven and their dog is eight okay so now what is the correct number oh muhammad Allah no best their number <laughs> and what happened they came to Muhammad they says Muhammad once you say they are four one you say five so what is the correct number so Muhammad to cover his ass he says okay some they say they are four and some they say they are uh, four and their dog is five and some they say they are five and their dog is six and some they say they are six and their dog is number seven and but you know what Allah knows best but Allah is talking the one is talking is Allah how Allah he says Allah knows best what about you give us a number you know what I'm saying it's like you're asking me hey Christian Prince what is the number of those in the story and then I say if I am saying that God knows best that will make sense because I do not know God knows but God is saying Allah knows best <laughs> <laughs> so this is story stolen from a Christian bishop who wrote it centuries before Islam and Muhammad he took it he put it in the Quran and he make a story about it and not only that because they could not understand the language look what Muhammad he said here it says and their dog is number six the fact in Aramaic it does not say dog it is Kali Ahum from Kala'a the provider the provider is the angel you donkey so Muhammad he have a very funny skills and language he stole the story and now he made the word Kali ahum kalbahum kalbahum mean the dog Kali ahum mean the angel who provide them so look how we switch from an angel to a dog because the story is a theft so from an angel to a dog because you cannot count the dog as number five I mean in any language in the world you cannot say they are four and their dog is number five that's stupid of you because the dog is not a human to count him with them is that correct guys can we count the dog additional and we say he's five because if we count the dog that's mean he's a human too we cannot say for a human and their dog is number five Especially he's saying there are four and their dog is five, the fifth. We can say there's four human and one dog. That will be accurate. You cannot say four and their and, and the dog is number five. That's stupid. In Arabic is wrong, in English is wrong, in French is wrong, in any language is wrong. So what the story was, there is seven sleepers who they have their provider, their guard. It's not a dog, it's an angel. This is why it says. Fatihun Zira'ihi. He opened his two arms. Two arms. Have you ever heard of a dog have two arms? Huh? Muslims, have you ever heard of a of a dog have two arms? Amazing, stupid, crazy cult. I mean, nobody can be the can be the stupidity of this cult. Any Abdul? So as, as usual, Muhammad always he copy and he steal. It was an angel who is opening his arms.
not a dog opening his arms. Dogs don't have arms. And look at the translation that says, he spread out, stretching out his bows. What? What it says that? It says, وَكَلْبَهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَاعَيْهِ ذِرَاعَيْهِ His two arms. But dogs have four legs. They don't have two arms and two legs. <laughs> so what this was, it was about the angel who guard them in the front of the cave open his two arms because he's an angel he have wings supposedly it's a fiction story so look what muhammad the idiot the thief he did he stole the story the angel became a dog and then the rest is crazy alexander the great he became a prophet for islam any anyone is famous muhammad he put him in the quran Luqman, uh, I mean, you, you name it, any, any name, any name he heard about him in his time, he put him in the Quran. And he made him a prophet of Allah. If Muhammad, he heard about Trump, he will make a chapter, it's called the, cha the chapter of the Trump. Especially if he heard about Kurdishan. He will make a Quran that says Kurdishan and what is Kurdishan? Nobody knows what is Kurdishan. Allah knows best about Kurdishan. Look at this. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Any, any Muslim speak Arabic? Just for fun. Anyone? When I enjoy the, the wisdom of... Uh, oh, hold on. I forgot something. I, I don't want to forget this one. What about we go and see the wisdom of Allah who made the verses in the Quran saying you can eat alone. Anyone remember what chapter? What chapter? Who remember? Anyone? What chapter? You can eat alone. You can eat with your family. Mm, you guys are having a hard time, don't you? Okay. What verse? What verse? Hey, some of you said 24. Let us see if this is true. What verse? Okay. Uh, 61. Let us see. We go to 61 wisdom of Allah I mean it's amazing I mean who can who can beat uh, this is 24 and this is 61 no blame is there upon the blind nor any blame upon the lame nor any blame upon the sick nor in yourself if you eat at your house <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and then he starts saying no blame if you eat in the house of your father and in the house of your mother and in the house of your brother this is God that God now is squeezing his bum and coming with this wisdom now that I can eat in my house if I'm blind if I'm sick, if I cannot walk straight, and even if not any of those, I can eat in my house. Thank you. I mean, since the time of Adam, a human being was confused. Shall we eat in the house, our houses? No, it's, I think it's not lawful. We should eat in the house of the neighbors. Can we eat in the house of our father? What about our mother? Hmm. Sister. anyway i think we have enough for today don't forget guys to download the videos and share it with your friends and until i see you by the way tomorrow uh there is a, there is an ex-muslim uh she asked me for long to to because she wanted to talk about shia so tomorrow we will speak about shia because she is coming from a shia background she is iranian she became a christian 
and tomorrow we will have a special program to talk about the Shia and she will call me during the live broadcasting so tomorrow around 3 30 we will be back live on air again and our topic to tomorrow is Shia no Bukhari nothing of the Sunni all is about Shia and Shia is very funny by the way you would die laughing and you are responsible for what will happen to you after you hear what we will say about the Shia and always with the clear evidence we don't say things without proofs and reference as you know so get ready for tomorrow and I will see you soon again God is willing Christ is Lord and Islam is false and see you thank you